Hey y'all, welcome to XLMO. Today we are going to be talking about self-care, which is my favorite topic to talk about. Um, and so like over, you know, so I'm just like my channel, like one of my emphasis is self-care. So I'm just going to start incorporating little self-care tidbits into, into, into my content feed and little self-care things that I would recommend you do or trying out. But today we are talking about um, eucalyptus shower bundles. I bought one about a week and a half ago and I've been using it for about a week. Um, and I love the thing. I think it's, I think it's great and absolutely awesome. And I think you should definitely try it out. It makes a great addition to any bathroom. It's, it, it's not very expensive. Um, it's very affordable. It does come with like health benefits. And then like after showering, you're like, bathroom will smell amazing and then also like if you are into plant magic i'm going to be talking about some tips to help bring out the herbalism properties and the magical and energetic properties of eucalyptus bundles near the end of the video so yeah so i got mine so i guess like my initial review would be like i got mine on etsy a little while ago and i know you can find them on etsy for like as cheap as like 15 bucks or as expensive around 40. So again, it's not that bad. I got a large bundle and I think mine was around $35. Um, I love shopping off at Etsy, you know, support small businesses and farmers. But like if you're, if you garden, if you have some lavender and eucalyptus in your garden, that would be another option. I also believe that like Trader Joe's sells eucalyptus bundles and maybe even lavender bundles depending on where you're located um but yeah i found mine on etsy mine got here in three days i wasn't expecting it to get here so quickly but it definitely got here in a short amount of time so yeah once i started using it i think the main benefits is that like one it smells great it smells great in the shower but it's kind of like like what's it vix vapor rub it kind of seems like that but it's much more subtle Cause you know the the expanding feeling you feel in your chest and how it becomes like easier to breathe you feel that when you're in the shower and when you're in the bathtub it's not that extreme but like it definitely like helps with breathing i can feel like my lungs or like the airways in my lungs opening up and expanding and then it just like it becomes easier to breathe and then i can also like feel mucus like like draining down the back of my throat and like leaving my lungs um so yeah, so those are like the main points about it. Some things to note about using it is that like, it's really activated by like heat and steam. Um, in my bathroom, although it's not huge, it's kind of big and the ceilings are kind of tall in here. So like just keeping that in mind, it takes a little while for like the heat and steams, you know, like fill the room and to start to like release the oils from the, from the leaves and from the branches. So like if you have a smaller bathroom, you'll probably be able to to, to sense the effects of it much quicker than you would if you have like a huge bathroom, you know what I mean? With a bathtub, two showers, his and hers, you know what I mean? There's even a closet in your bathroom. So that's something to keep in mind when purchasing it. Um, something else just about plant magic. Reefs have a history of being used to like show victory or to protect a home or ward off bad energies or spirits. There's also a history of using arrangement of flowers in the kitchen and living spaces to attract good luck, money, positive energies, you know, good food, health, um, you know, you get what I'm saying. But yeah, so this is why I decided to bring this into my bathroom, just because I know that there's a practice of using wreaths. I don't necessarily have a wreath on my front door, but I, I was thinking about ways of like, okay, how do I incorporate more plants into into my home, um, into my self-care practice um, to help raise vibrations, protect myself and attract good energies. So yeah, so that's that's kind of what this is. I figured if this is my sacred space, it would only make sense to invite a plant into here and a eucalyptus lavender shower bundle made sense to do that with. So yeah, this is kind of a branch, like a, I don't know, a spinoff, if you will, the wreath or the bouquet of flowers that you would like traditionally put in your homes. Yeah, so I'm gonna like talk about the ritual that I did. I'm gonna talk about what I did to, to to introduce myself into the plant, what I did to get it ready for becoming a part of my shower. And so with the plant magic that I do, or the energetic work that I do, I was initially taught to 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 have a greeting um, and to make an offering to the plants. Plants are like people. Um, my teacher called them our plant sisters. 
and just with that in mind, you want to you want to approach them respectfully. You know what I mean? You kind of want to say hi. You want to make an offering. Um, we were taught to make an offering with another plant. Tobacco leaves work really well. Like um, bundles of like lavender or a gris gris bag with some of your favorite herbs. You can make a cup of tea um, or anything like that. I did not make a like a like a physical offering. My offering was an actual ceremony where I introduced the the eucalyptus bundle to my bathroom. Like my bathroom is one of my most sacred spaces. And so I set it on a towel and I just had it in my bathroom. It sat on the counter in my bathroom for about three days. And at night I would light a candle for it. And during that three day period, I also, to me, the ceremony was about introducing it into my sacred space and like getting to know it. So I would talk to the bundle before I like actually installed it above my shower head. Um, I set some intentions, um, I meditated with it and I gave it a hug. So yeah, so right before I actually like installed it in my shower head, what I did was that like I cleaned my, like my shower, I cleaned my bathtub, um, and then I sang that day. You know, I always sing, again, like me singing, singing is a part of my self-care. I sing a song for myself every day. So I also sang to the eucalyptus plant for those three days that the ceremony was going on, just again, to introduce it into my space and to introduce me to the eucalyptus and lavender bundle. So before I actually like installed it above the shower head, what I did is like I cleaned the shower. I cleaned the shower how I usually would clean it. Um, probably like a little better. I probably cleaned it like a little better than I would usually clean it, truth be told. But then what I did was like I took some floral water, some tea tree oil, and some almond oil. Any like herb mix or like oils, like lavender oil, eucalyptus oil, any oils of your of your choosing would work really well and even like any natural perfume. I personally use like Florida water. Florida water is a part of my spiritual practice. So I put a couple of drops of each of those in the bathtub and I took a towel and, and like rubbed it on the inside of the tub just to seal it. And then I put the bundle on a towel. Like it's, it's at this point it had been on a towel for three days. I set that in the middle of the tub. I lit a candle and I let it sit there overnight. And that essentially was the end of the ceremony. The following morning, I took it off of the towel I tied it around the shower, I blew the candle out, and yeah, that was my eucalyptus shower bundle ceremony. And on the third day is when I set the intentions with it. So what I did is I held it, I hugged it, and I meditated. <laughs> and I meditated about what I wanted the plant to do with me, how I wanted to engage with the plant, and how we were going to interact with each other. So some of the things that I chose were about like clarity of mind, releasing stress, you know, like letting go of emotions. I'm helping like cleanse my body of, of impurities and toxins. And again, just like protecting my space, um, protecting my shower and my bathroom as a sacred space. So yeah, I meditated on those things while holding the plant. And then I gave it three hugs before setting it on the towel. And then, you know, waiting that night and installing it, installing it in my shower. Um, but yeah, so far it's been great. It's just been like a week since I've installed it and like I I couldn't be any happier with the results. Like I definitely feel like whenever I get into the shower, my mind is so clear. I'm able to think about things and like just unpack the day that I had or the morning or whatever. And then just like release everything that's not serving me, let that go down the drain. You know, and I step out feeling refreshed, rejuvenated, both mentally, physically, and spiritually. Yeah, that's about it. Let me know if you have any questions and if you thought that this video was useful. If you have any questions about plant magic or anything like that, I am going to leave a couple of resources. Resources down in the description bar are some things that you can read. Before you do any of this, I would definitely say, yeah, do your own research and follow your intuition, I think are the biggest tips. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions and if you want to see more things about like spirituality, um, herbalism, and plant magic, let me do let me know down in the comment hey y'all so i forgot to mention another way that you can set intention and to also make an offering with the plant um so something else that you can do um if you're not going to like sit down with the plant and meditate and hold it something else you can do is you can write a note or a letter to the plant um you can do that as your offering or you can also do do this as your intention setting step um, write down what you want the plant to do and, and how you want it to operate in your shower and your space and set that underneath the plant for the duration of your ceremony. Or you can also wrap it in the towel that you set the plant on top of um, during your last night um, before installing it. So yeah, just one note I forgot, writing also works as well.